Good morning, everyone. May the rest of the day be even better than this beautiful morning. I decided to do a drawing today, so I thought maybe I can share with you some of the basic steps that I do that I think you can follow along if you are also interested in drawing, especially portraits of people and also sharing with you a bit of our everyday life here. I really suggest that before drawing, we should finish our chores first. I don't know if you have any, but normally folks here do, so maybe you can start with those. So you won't have anything else to interfere you in the drawing process. I have already downloaded my reference. In this case, it's the Timothy Chalamet. If you read it in Bisaya, it's Chalamet. I desaturated the pictures so I can draw it in grayscale. Then I transferred it to my phone because I find it more convenient. Another option is getting your reference printed about the same size of how you would want to draw it. Then I used Grid Maker for drawing that I installed on my phone. I just inserted my reference and decided on how many columns in rows to have. In this case, I put 16 columns and the app automatically put the number of rows because I set it to have square grids. I turned the grid line color into white since the reference is mostly black. Now that the reference is ready and you have finished everything else, it's now the perfect time to draw. For my personal opinion, art or drawing is not quite a thrifty talent or field to be in. Mostly, you'd need lots of different kinds of pencils. When I was just starting out, I remember I only had two graphite pencils, a 2B and 6B. I figured I should save and invest my time and effort to get some more of these materials to leverage my talent. And as I did, I was able to buy some more of what I needed. Credit also to my big bro for letting me use his set of drawing materials. He's also into drawing, so yeah, I guess you could say that it runs in the family. By the way, these papers are outputs of the kids who sometimes come here to visit. Darin! Nakapangalan ng isang singer, Darin Spanto! Oh, si Pretty Frida. For making the grid lines, I'm using a 5H graphite pencil. It's very light in shade, so I find it perfect for making grid lines and outlines. If you don't have a 5H pencil, it's actually okay. It only depends on you. There is really no strict and perfect way of doing art. Because art for me is subjective. So never let your expressions be bounded by the technical aspect of it. It should be free and creative, especially when reinforced with your resourcefulness. I use grid lines because I want my drawing to be more proportional. You could use grid lines in your drawings or you could do it freehand. It depends on you. Neither way is the only way. Just choose what best suits you. I'm using a 13 by 8 inches white vellum board. And for the grids, I decided to scale it with half inches squares. This process is or may be very tedious. Sometimes I even do only 1 inch scales but today I decided to be more committed. So, I added diagonals. Many of us, especially the beginners, would complain about this step. But for me, I think this is one of the very important foundation of my art. Even some mural paintings use grids. Normally, they do doodle grids. This is very helpful in keeping the balance in my drawing. I have no idea why, but I'm like programmed to start my drawings with the left eye. For me, most of the person's overall aesthetic and persona is seen in the eyes. And if I can do the eyes right, it gives me the confidence and some sense of guarantee that 
The rest of the elements in the drawing will be easier to draw. After doing the outlines, I usually follow it with some brushed shades of charcoal and add some heavy strokes with a charcoal pencil and then brush it again until the shading is even. The last part would be adding the highlights and usually I use eraser to achieve it. One of the trickiest parts is doing the hair, especially if you choose a very detailed reference. Usually, it takes the longest time. This is like a test in commitment and patience. But I think I didn't have to copy every single strand. My goal is to make my drawing look like the reference even without doing it as it exactly is in the reference. Or maybe I'm just making an excuse. But nevertheless, you can still create a beautiful piece of work no matter how you do it. Now, finishing off with some extra heavy strokes and detailed highlights. Let's now see our output. Anyway, that's it. I hope I've put a bit light on your art journey. I mean it. I hope I can make you draw if you were looking for the right drive to make you. By the way, our ampalaya is now flowering. We don't have much vegetables at home yet since it's rainy season here in the Philippines. But some days are cool sunny days. And I guess no one is happier with this season than my dogs. Especially when the fields are flooded. Just look at them. Go, go, go! Thank you so much for watching and if you're new to this channel well you can hit that subscribe button there double thanks to that have a good day bye Oh.